guys the golden 45 here and i'm going to be teaching you guys how to port forward any server like a vanilla or bucket first off go to your command prompt you should be you should be able to find this by typing in cmd in your search bar but since i have windows xp it's only vista and up um i found command prompt this way and just and then Type in ipconfig. I will be I will be blurring all this out, so you guys can't see my IP addresses. And I realize that it's scrolling this way, so let's just move that there. Press enter. Oops. Ipconfig. No. Sp I spelled that wrong. Config. If you guys can't see it, um, you can pause the video right now. It's I P C O N F I G. Okay, now press enter. And now a bunch of text should be popping up. Look for your Ethernet adapter local area connection, and it should have a default gateway. Copy um write down the default gateway and your IPv4 address. Since I have an older version of Windows, it's it says IP address instead of IP. IPv4. Okay, since you wrote, since you've written that down, um, go to your web browser. In my case, I'm using Google Chrome. Type in your, um, your what you call it, your um, default gateway. And my default gateway is 10.0.0.1. By the way, this is for Xfinity connections only, so you might not have this. Okay, so hmm, I don't know why it logged in right away, but the the username should be admin and the password is password. Okay, now it's time to open my text document to blur things out. Oh no, I can't blur things out with this. Um, I'll use fraps to blur things out. Okay, there I go. It's opened up. Okay, fraps always on top. See, I got the cracked version. Okay, go to, um, you have to go to advanced. And put this over here. And enable port forwarding there should be a thing and and click on add service right here add service in my case I'm going to edit it sorry about that guys um I showed my IP address and I had to cut that off Okay, so you're gonna do services name other and call it Minecraft server and the service type UCP slash UDP and place in your IP address right below the, the IPv4 address, if you might say. And the start port and end port is 25565. I'm gonna repeat that again 25565. Okay, and go to your DMZ hold on and enter in your IPv4 address again and that should do it and close that out so I can finally close fraps up okay and now go to your minecraft server minecraft server folder go to your server properties well, no, I don't think you have to go to your server properties to change anything. Okay, never mind. And the last step of this is to get your IP from ipchicken.com. Um, so yeah, go, go to ipchicken.com. I don't know if my browser would open up, but go to ipchicken.com and it should show a big um, IP bar. Okay, so it finally opened. Let's see. IPchicken.com. So let's wait. 
and now this is my IP address I'm not blocking it out at the moment because I want you guys to join so thank y'all for watching if you're enjoying my videos you can my other and subscribe to my channel and say bye well you know how that always goes so see yeah okay bye